welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video, I'm going to be doing this eyeshadow look right here. It's a really fun, colorful, bright, orangey red look. I really wanted to use this palette by Melt Cosmetics, the Vita palette. I did pick this up uh, from Sephora. I did a huge Sephora haul. I will leave a link to that video if you guys are interested and want to check what goodies I got down below. But this was one of the palettes that I picked up. It was on sale on Sephora's website. And I've been wanting to try it Melt Cosmetics for such a long time and I just haven't been able to. They're a little bit more pricey which is why I haven't tried them out but I've been wanting to get my hands on some of her eyeshadows for the longest and I saw this palette on sale and I was like oh I really want to try it out. It's a really beautiful colorful eyeshadow palette and these were the shades up here that I used today and really love how this look came out. Love the eyeshadows. They're pigmented, creamy, they're easy to blend. You do get fallout but not a ton. They're not patchy or anything like that. It's just such an easy look to do. But this is the palette that I'm going to be using for today's video. And if you guys are interested and want to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching. Okay love, so let's go ahead and get started. This is what the final look is going to look like. I went ahead and did this side rest of my makeup and I put on a really bold lip. I don't know, I just want it to uh, match with the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in this side. And I am going to take my P. Louise base, which is my favorite eyeshadow base. It makes all the eyeshadows, like the really nice colorful eyeshadows pop. And it just looks so nice on the lid. And then I'm going to take my P88 brush by Sigma. I'm not going to bring it all the way out here because I already have foundation. I don't want to like mess it up. My finger, my ring finger, I'm just going to tap to blend everything in. I'm going to take this brush by Morphe. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush, the JH32. I already have some of the eyeshadow on there as you can see. I'm going to take some of it off. I'm going to go ahead and take this beautiful palette by Melt Cosmetics, the Vita palette. I'm going to take that shade Sol and I'm going to apply this all over my crease. It's a very pretty like mustard orange shade. I'm going to apply this all over my crease and just blend it out just like I did on this side. I'm going to bring it all the way in. Super pigmented. It is powdery, powdery but I actually like the shadows more than the um, last look I did with the uh, ABH Norvina palette. Those shadows were so, so powdery and some of them are chalky. This palette is gorgeous. I actually got this um, when they were having this on sale on Sephora's website. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up because I've been wanting to try out Mel Cosmetics eyeshadows for such a long time. Um, when they came out with like those stacked eyeshadows and they had the beautiful like... Uh, they had those really beautiful like transition brown shades. I've been wanting to try those for the longest time and I just never did because it was just like pretty pricey um, back then when I first discovered them and I just couldn't afford it um, and I still really want to get them but I just haven't but I saw this palette was on sale I loved all the colorful shades and I was just like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get it even the packaging is gorgeous um, but as you can see this shade is so pigmented that's so easy to blend. Like all the shadows were so easy to blend. And I love this shade is so pretty. So I'm just going to keep adding this on top just like that. And I don't even get a lot of fallout. I had a ton, a ton of fallout with the Norvina palette. Um... I used to like ABH shadows, but honestly, like, I just, my last big one that I've gotten from them was, like, the Modern Renaissance palette, which I still really love that palette. Um, but ever since then, I really haven't purchased really anything from them. Um, I mean, they're all really pretty, like, the packaging and, like, the colors, but I don't know. I just don't love ABH shadows. They're just really powdery. Some of them are, like, chalky and can be a little bit hard to blend um, but these shadows are blending out so nice so just like that you can see how pigmented that color is it's so pretty 
Um, you can even apply this like all over the lid. I'm gonna go into that beautiful red shade. It's called Mexicana. And I'm actually gonna put that right on the outer corner, just like how it is here, and I'm gonna bring it up to the crease all the way in. Um, but I'm gonna start off with the outer corner just like that, and then start building it. And you can see this one is also super, super pigmented. I'm just adding more of the shade. I'm not going to put this in my on my lid right here because I'm going to add the other shade. But I am going to bring it all the way in. Kind of mix it a little bit with that orange mustard shade. With a more detailed brush, I'm going to go into that same shade and I'm going to make sure it's like nice and detailed in the inner corner. Yeah, like you could already see that makes a huge difference. Because I am going to do a little bit of a cut crease, so when I do the cut crease, I want that shade right there to show. And then another precise brush, I'm going to take that mustard orange shade again, and I'm just going to add a little bit over here, right in the inner corner. I'm not going in with that blending brush, it doesn't all blend together. Um, I want it to be a little bit more defined up here in the inner corner. Just take your time, go back and forth until you get it to look. How you want it. I'm gonna go back in with the P. Louise Space and this brush by Anastasia, the Anastasia number 18 brush. And I am gonna do a little bit of a cut crease. And I am letting some of that red show. Just like how it is here. And I'm not bringing this in all the way so I'm going to add another shade right here. And again, just take your time. And practice, practice, practice. If you mess up, that's okay. It's just makeup. You can take it off and start over. I'm gonna go in with this shade Alegria, which is like a shimmery rich orange shade. It's so pretty. And I'm just gonna take a flat top brush and I'm gonna add that right on the outer, outer corner. Oh, just be careful because this one does give you fallout, but it's okay. And then I'm going to take my little Fenty Beauty highlighter and I'm going to put that right in the inner corner just like that. First, going to align my waterline and I'm going to use this ColourPop pencil. Going back into the Vita palette, I'm going to take my little precise brush and I'm going to go into the same shades that I did on my crease. So right here, this one, I'm going to go with the red shade and a little bit of this shade called Pan Dulce, which is like a darker orange. Then I'm going to use the little velour liner and lash glue. I'm just going to add these little velour lashes. A 
Okay, love, so this is going to be the final look using the Vita palette by Melt Cosmetics. Absolutely love the shades that I use. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and how this really fun, colorful look came out. Let me know if you guys want to see another look with this palette because I really want to play with the green drink here. They look so, so pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.